What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about colour temperature. Colour temperature is something that you can change in the settings on your camera and that affects how the image looks. Colour temperature is measured in kelvins or K for short. The higher the number, the colder and or whiter the image will get and the lower number, the more warmer it will get. And the kelvin or colour temperature is used in images to actually make the image look as though it should do in whatever lighting you're using. So for example, if you're using candles, you need to be at something like 1800 kelvin and that replicates the colour of the candles and all the environment. When using flash, I generally use 5600 or sometimes 5500 and that's the electronic flash kelvin for general manufacturers. Sometimes lights are different, so you have to refer to whatever lights you've got, but the majority of the Godox stuff that I've got is either 5500 or 5600 and it's absolutely spot on for that. In most cameras you can adjust this manually, so you can set a, a kelvin number, so you can go from there, or there's also sections in there so you can have cloudy, sunlight and all of those different things, and that automatically changes and picks the kelvin number for you so you don't have to remember which one it is. So if you're shooting outside and it's cloudy or overcast, you can choose a cloudy one and that'll adjust your colour temperature so your images look more lifelike than what it would be on auto white balance or a different Kelvin setting. You can set it in the camera and you can also use editing software to adjust it once you've shot it if you're shooting in RAW. However, I prefer to do it in camera so it's already done before I even import it. What you can also do is mess around with colour balance when you're shooting pictures if you want something a bit different. So for example, if you wanted a, a purple type image, rather than editing it, you can shoot it with that Kelvin in the camera and you can get that straight out the camera with that purple sort of tinge or you can go a cooler or a darker. Another example, so if you're shooting outside and you want to emulate that sun sunrise or sunset, then you can whack up the Kelvin down so the image is a lot warmer and it'll emulate the warm sun and the yellow sun rather than the bright white daylight. So that's colour temperature covered and like I said in one of the other ones with the portraits where you can adjust the colour temperature I'll probably be doing another tutorial or another video based on that as well so you can see how to mess around with colour balance and get some really unique and different images. Yeah.